but our UV index is at an extreme territory up in the 11s right now. So that just means it only takes 15 minutes if you don't have any sun protection on to get a sunburn. So I know it doesn't feel like it now, but as soon as we head toward the afternoon, it's that time of year where our sun conditions are rather strong. Take a look right now. We have some gray skies near the airport, 61 degrees for the LAX area. Visibility down to about four miles. So just give yourself some extra time. Take a look at just where all of that may gray or all of that marine layer has pushed into has moved inland even into areas like the Inland Empire not quite near the foothills, uh, but we're definitely looking at much cooler conditions to start the morning off. And then by the time we head toward the afternoon, we will see some breaks in the sun, uh, breaks in the clouds with the sunshine that is peeking through. And we could even see some 70s by the afternoon. All right, so May gray, the clouds will clear. We're going to start to see some sea breeze really increasing over the next few days because there is a system to the north of us. Isolated thunderstorms still can't be ruled out over the mountains and deserts because we still have that monsoonal moisture coming in from the southwest. But this is why things are going to start to cool down and the sea breeze will start to pick up because a low pressure system drops in from the Pacific Northwest. This is what's going to bring us that drier air that we like here so much in the Southland because anytime we have any of that monsoon moisture kind of in our atmosphere, we definitely feel it because we're used to that dryness. So that low pressure system is definitely going to make things feel much more comfortable over the course of the next few days. But for now, low 70s for LA and Orange County with 60s by the middle of the week. And then for the valleys, we have mid 80s and you can see we start to cool. We go down into that cooling trend starting tomorrow with 70s expected for the Inland Empire. You're pretty much staying in the 80s until Wednesday. It's not until the end of the week we start to see those 70s start to reappear. Beach is 65 today and tomorrow and then we get down into the low 60s for Thursday and Friday. High deserts you have 91 today again chance of those isolated thunderstorms and showers and then that chance starts to decrease because of that cooler drier air. Temperatures topping out in the 80s by tomorrow. 70 by the end of the week and then our mountain communities also same drill isolated thunderstorms and showers can't be ruled out and then by the time we head into Thursday and Friday we're dropping down into the low 60s.